All right, good morning traders. Today is February 23rd, 2024. My SPY pivot this morning, 504.14. Above it, I'm a bull. Below it, I'm a bear. SPY and Diamond Dow made new all-time highs while closing the day with higher lows and higher highs. FNGU made a new two-year high, also closing the day with higher highs and a higher high and a higher low. QQQ, IWM made higher highs and higher lows on their daily candles, uh, trading over, uh, ending the day, closing the day over the trap and over the 17 EMA. Silver, now in an uptrend, made a lower high and a lower low while closing between the bullish trap and the 17 EMA. <coughs> Trendicator. GLD in a downtrend closed over a bullish trap and over the 17 EMA. USO remains in an uptrend, closed over the bullish trap and over the 17. UNG still in a downtrend, closed between the bearish trap and the 17 EMA. US dollar index still in an uptrend, retraced its way back to the flat. 200 SMA right around the 103 level. All right, let's go take a look at some charts. All right, you can see here SPY, new all time high, higher low, higher high, gapped up, left a huge void right here. So, uh, probably going to come back and fill that. I'm looking for an MMRP pattern coming up here, meaning today would probably be either a pause or a pullback to check support. So if today is the pause, then tomorrow becomes the pullback, excuse me, Monday becomes the pullback to check support. Now it's a big void in here. I don't know how far, uh, how low they're going to get. Uh, you got support right down here, 502, maybe even down to 501.76. We'll see what happens, all right? So there's SPY on the daily chart. <laughs> Let's take a look at the next one. Who else put in new all-time high? Diamond Dow. All right, Diamond Dow puts in a new all-time high, closing the day over the trap, over the trendicator. Higher low, higher high. You can see that. All right, so Diamond Dow breaking out to new highs. We'll see if they can hold that. Looking for, uh, actually looking for, let me just see what today, yesterday's price action was. Yeah, okay, so as you can see, here's yesterday's price action wound up being, here's a gap up over resistance, come back and checked. Oh no, they hit right into there. It's looking for the birthday trade. Not quite, didn't quite get it, all right? But they did uh, find, find support and then rallied up off of that. So there's Diamond Dow. Diamond Dow could come back, check support, and then move up twice as high. We'll see what Diamond Dow wants to do, but right now, Diamond Dow, new all-time high. Closing over the trap, over the trendicator, definitely bullish. <laughs> and in an uptrend, let's take a look at IWM. All right, IWM, yesterday's candle, higher low, higher high, closing over the trap, over the, over the 17 EMA. That's all I can say about that. Just consolidating in this bull flag right through there. All right, let's take a look at FNGU. Now, FNGU uh, put in a new uh, two-year high right there yesterday. All-time highs are for FNGU. Let's see where the all-time high is. Might as well just stick that in there right now. All right, so the all-time high is 576, 342.44. So they're on their way, but uh, still bullish, still in an uptrend. Closing the day over the trap, over the 17 EMA. Again, new two-year high for FNGU. Let's take a look at QQQ. All right, here's QQQ. Didn't make an all-time high, all right? But did close over the trap, over the 17 EMA with a higher low and a higher high. So nice work for the QQQ. Let's take a look at our technicals. All right, technicals for yesterday's price action. You can see... We came out of the seller's chop zone and we tagged the buyers, the buy zone up here and just kind of floundered around right here in the 
in the buyer's chop zone. So couldn't quite make it into the overbought zone or the buy zone yet. So still a little bit of room for improvement. Nice, nice thing that we got going on is we have a higher low right through here. So hopefully this higher low produces that higher high. We'll see what happens. T2122. Let's take a look at T2123. Green for the most part all day. A little VWAP check right there and then a bounce off of it. So nice work on the T2123. Here's a consolidation breakout right through there. T2123 3 bar. Opening up some space here between 17 EMA trend indicator and the price action. So still bullish. Little consolidation breakout there on a bigger time frame starting from January. So this is this is a new, this is a new uh new new high for the year for T2123. So T2123 measures all the stocks in the NYSE. So let's take a look at FNGU. Green all day for the you can see right here. We opened up. We gapped up green, green, green all day from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. It was green. So nice work on the FNGU. All right, let's take a look at some of our other charts. First one we'll take a look at. Let's look at energy. So let's take a look at USO. And we want the daily chart. So here's USO on the daily chart. We have a higher low, higher high, still bullish. Closing over the trap, over the 17 EMA. So nice work for the USO. UNG, not quite the same story, but still uh, relatively making a making a little bit of a rally here. Yesterday's candle, lower high, lower low, closing over the trap, between the trap and the 17 EMA. That's a falling 17 EMA. So still in a downtrend. Maybe they can fight this off this week or this this month before the month ends so there's UNG with a pullback there only got about only got four what is it four or five days left of trading this year for the month of February not for this year so we got today and these four days here so five days left so there's UNG so there's energy crude oil uptrend natural gas downtrend Let's take a look at silver and gold, some precious metals. Silver. Silver fighting off the downtrend, now in an uptrend, making a higher high over here. We had a high there. We made a new higher high. So silver in an uptrend, trying to retain it. But you can see yesterday's candle. We got a lower high and a lower low. And we closed uh, between the trap, the bullish trap, and the rising 17 EMA so we'll see what they can do today GLD GLD in a downtrend right through here lower high lower low and closing the day above the bullish trap but over the seven and over the 17 EMA so there's GLD in a downtrend Let's take a look at let's take a look at our transports. Here's the transports yesterday. Got a higher low, higher high. Uh, still bullish on the transports. Still in an uptrend. Transports still in an uptrend. XLF still in an uptrend. Higher low, higher high. Notice still in an uptrend. XLF. So we got financials and transports still in an uptrend. How about uh, semiconductors? Semiconductors still in an uptrend. Semiconductors putting in a new all-time high yesterday. All right, semiconductors. So we got all three of those majors are uh, producing, um, are still hanging on to those uptrends. One of them is producing all-time highs. Nice work there. We could expect more bullishness until it's not. So let's take a look at X. Let's just peek at XLK. All right, here's our technology sector, kind of bull flagging right through here. Not a new all-time high, but just continuous bull flag right there. Still in an uptrend. So nothing's broken yet. Everything's looking good. 
So now let's go look at the economic calendar, see what we got there. And let's slide this over. <laughs> and we'll start off with the dollar index. All right, so here's the dollar. This is the flat 200, this blue line. All right, so if we back way out, there's our July low, October high, November failure to make a new high. All right, and then we came uh, crashing down to the 200, and then we got below the flat 200 underneath this downtrend line, and then we found some major support right there. From the major support, we rallied back up over the downtrend line consolidated through it popped out of that consolidation and then we then we um, uh, just got trapped underneath this flat 200 consolidating in a bull flag and then popped out to check this uh, flat 100 and we broke the rubber band candle now we're coming back to check the 200 so this price action coming into this flat 200 now if this comes down that'll be very good for the markets i could see the markets probably well i could see spy going up to about 520. so here we are with uh, the dollar still in an uptrend we'd like it to be in a downtrend but this very well could be the next move down we'll see what happens you got to move down consolidate back up and then another move down. We'll see what they're going to give us. But right now, we're still in an uptrend. We need to break that uptrend. For Max Payne for today is 501. All right. So we'll see how close they come to that. So the highest call with open interest strike is 502. So that may be the target. 502 sometime today. We'll see what happens. We don't know what they're going to do. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. And I don't think there's anything on it at all for Friday. Yeah, nothing. Just a blank blank day. So no, no volatility coming out of the calendar. Uh, the only volatility that could come out is... Uh, the U.S. dollar, which uh, without any economic news, I don't think I don't see the dollar moving anywhere anytime soon. So I'm expecting about more of the same. Let's also take a look at our earnings calendar. I don't think there's much uh, scheduled for today, but we'll take a peek anyway. And that's around here somewhere. All right, for Friday, we got Berkshire is going to report um, sometime today, supposedly. And uh, Fomento Economica Mexicano is going to report this morning at $158 billion. And that's about it for notables for Monday. We've got no notables Monday. Tuesday, Lowe's is going to report $132 billion there. It's Wednesday, Salesforce is going to report in the evening. It's uh, $284 billion. And Royal Bank of Canada, $138 billion. TJX Companies, I think that's TJ Maxx, that's $112 billion. So a little bit of retail and a bank. It's going to report on Wednesday. That's it right there for uh, this morning's market conditions. So like I said on SPY, I'm looking for probably just like an MMRP type situation where they flounder around up here. Now, if Max Payne is 502, it's very possible they come back and check that 500 number just to check and test it for support. It's kind of kind of a big drop though, 500, 501. That puts us well into this trap right through here. So we'll see what they want to do. Uh, we've already had on the spy, uh, on the five minute chart, well, excuse me, the 10 minute chart, you can see the price action from uh, yesterday. We've already got a failed higher low, so uh, maybe they come back, check this, uh, failed higher high. So we're looking to see if maybe uh, 
They want to come back, check the lows one more time, see if they hold, and try it one more time. We'll have to wait and see what happens, all right? So, but in the morning, in the pre-market, things are looking kind of bullish at this time. All the way back up over 508. I think they want to go up to 510. We'll see what happens. That's it, traders. I'm going to go ahead and take questions and render my video if there's no questions.